the annual Christmas tree lighting in Morgan City, but this year there will be an extra gift being revealed. An artist is giving back to his hometown with a top secret Christmas display, but tonight Danielle Garcia has a sneak peek. Um, I just decided I wanted to do something great for the town. The traditional Christmas display on the shrimping boat in Morgan City is getting a transformation. Over the course of a year and with the help of 15 artistic elves, sculpture artist and Morgan City native Lee Romare has been working on a surprise for the city. But I decided that why not, why not uh, make it a Cajun Christmas. So instead of um, uh, reindeer, we're using alligators. Uh, and everything about the, the display is really themed towards Louisiana. Cajun Santa came all the way from Hollywood, California, dashing through the bayou with shrimping boots in a three gator sleigh. This is uh, one of the elves, and uh, this is also top secret for the city, so no one has seen this yet. When Lee came to me and had this great idea, uh, we took it with open arms, not realizing this was going to be an over $100,000 project, a donation, one of the single largest donations to the city by an individual since I've been here. The Cajun Christmas display on the spirit of Morgan City will greet people driving through the town. When I was a kid, there was a um, a display back then built by the former uh, mayor of the town. It was pretty elaborate when you know we were younger, um, so I think it's kind of coming back to that now. And of course, Santa's alligators have their names. The largest alligator is named uh, Doc after Doc Brunel who created the original Santa Claus. Um, the second alligator is named Green after a local artist, Mr. Greenwood, who created the second Santa Claus uh, and finally Rudolph because we couldn't really change Rudolph's name. So off Doc, off Green, off Rudolph, because Cajun Santa has come to town. In Morgan City, Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3. The big reveal coming tomorrow night. We'll